dimensional analysis, conversion factors, conversions, unit conversions. <sighs> All that means is going from one unit to the next. These are the most common conversion factors that are specific to length, mass, volume, and time. In the description box below, you'll find a link that allows you to actually access the same conversion factors. Let's go ahead and jump into our first example. The mass of a Frisbee is 125 grams. Convert its mass to ounces using the conversion factor, one ounce equals 28.349 grams. Your given is the 125 grams. This one is so nice to actually give you the conversion factor of one ounce is equal to this amount of grams. And we are finding our ounces. The plan is to go from grams to ounces. The proper setup is having your given on top. Diagonally, we'll place the grams across from each other so our units will cancel. Grams would then cancel and we'd be left with our ounces. You just divide these two numbers. You end up getting 4.409 ounces. However, our given was three sig figs. We need to round up. Your final answer is that 4.41 ounces. Moving on to example two using two conversion factors. How many minutes will it take to drive to LA from San Francisco if a speed of 72 miles per hour is maintained? The distance between the two cities is 405 miles. First, start with identifying your given conversion factor or factors and what you are finding. Your given is the 405 miles. Our conversion factors will start with the 72 miles per hour. So per hour, just meaning that it's for every one hour. From there, we need to convert to minutes. So we'll need the conversion factor of one hour equaling 60 minutes because we are then finding minutes. Your plan is starting with your given, the miles. We'll convert that to hours using the first conversion factor. Then from there, taking our hours and going to minutes using our second conversion factor. The setup is starting with your given. We'll have our miles on top. We want to match those miles on the bottom so they can cancel. Note that these miles will then cancel and we'll have hours now on top. We want to cancel out our hours. We'll put them across from each other. Now they cancel as well and we're left with minutes. Multiply straight across and divide by that 72. You get 337.5 minutes. However, we have three significant figures, so we round up. Your final answer is 338 minutes. Let's look at our last example. A patient needs 50 milligrams of a medicine three times a day. If each tablet of medicine contains 25 milligrams, how many tablets will the patient need for a four-day prescription? As always, you want to go ahead and start with identifying your given conversion factor or factors and what you are looking for. The given is that 50 milligrams three times every day. Conversion factor is that one tablet is equal to 25 milligrams, where we saw that that said each tablet of medicine contains 25 milligrams. And lastly, you are finding the total amount of tablets in that four day prescription. Step one is to multiply your given by three. Take the 50 milligrams and multiply it by the three times per day, and our actual given is 150 milligrams per day. The next plan is taking our milligrams per day and changing that to tablets. The proper setup will have our new given, the 150 milligrams per every one day. Next, you wanna match the milligrams to cancel them out, so we'll place them across from each other using our conversion factor. The milligrams will then cancel, and now we have tablets per day. Divide the 150 divided by 25, and you get six tablets per every one day. We got that here with our tablet per every day. 
The last step is then to multiply by four using the six tablets per every day. We'll cancel out our days, putting them across from one another. Six times four then gives us 24 tablets. Grab a pen and paper and try these practice problems. How was that? For conversions, I do recommend practicing as many problems as possible. In the description box below, there's a link with practice problems and step-by-step -step answers. Make sure to check that out if you really want to ace your exam. Make sure you like this video if you learned something and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. And remember, I am here to show you how to pass chemistry. So leave a comment below letting me know what you need help with and I'll see you next time.